Hello, Internet World. Johnny R. here. Welcome back to Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Last we left off, we just cleared out the slave market. All right. If you bathed and brushed your hair, you may provoke slightly less revulsion in those around you, urchin. But some things never wash off, isn't that right? Like blood. It's always on your hands, even if you can't see it. I hope you keep that spirit of yours under control. Wouldn't want it attacking us in the middle of battle. There are some forces you can't rein in. Unfortunate, isn't it? But don't worry, my spirit isn't going to betray me. All right, we just saved Suture. That's really cool. Um, what else? Is there anything else in here we have to either look for? Or... Oh. All right, let's move on. Whoa. Well failed perception check. I see something over there. Oh. <laughs> when do I spot it? Alright, everybody stop. Can we disarm it? Have I pleased you? Oh wow. She could pass it very go easy. Ahead. Anything new? Uh no, not you. Everybody back. When do I? I'll prove I am the best. Have I pleased you? Oh, just more stuff. Okay. As it should be. Alright, let's move on up. <clears throat> Alright. Let's see what's over here. Oh. Oh, puzzle. I was never there at puzzles. First time here. A fearsome looking succubus steps forward, blocking your path. Are you sure you're welcome here? This is the harem of Arden Dreams, the palace of Shamira. Chief demoness of the city. After Nocticula, of course. When did Nocticula ever care about our petty concerns? Bottom line, this palace belongs to the person who really runs everything around here. Got it? Hmm. I wish to enter. Do you at least realize what you're getting yourself into, stranger? The most powerful demons of Evolution Era are here, come here. If you don't leap out of their way fast enough when they pass, they will grind your bones into powder without bothering to pull them out of your body first. You really don't want to go in there. Try to stop me. If we don't try, Shamira will skin us alive. So it looks like we'll have to decorate the street with your guts, stranger. Close ranks. All right. No match for me. Ooh, nice hit. Okay, when do I definitely target those big guys? Um. Summon skeletons. Wow, that's really fast. This is nice. Okay, I don't know. I'll get a boss race. Then... Oh, yeah, the quick and ready. Uh, let's see what else. Yeah, Feast of Blood. Let's hit everybody. Oof. Ouch. Okay. Struggling so hard to kill those skeletons. Yeah. I think they just keep hitting it's a window walk. Negative level, negative level, negative level. Ugh. We'll fix that, don't worry. This is not really negative levels. Okay. I will bring down the divine wrath! 
Nice hit. Trying really hard. Uh, Regil's star, unfortunately. I'll rip you apart! Nice hit. Oof. Ah, that's okay. Um, let's see. That was weird. Hmm. <laughs> Go, go, go! Oh, they need a nat 20 to hit. <laughs> Surprise, it's still alive. That's a lot of hit points I dealt. Red-haired beautiful demon sits majestically on the throne, an aura of bright light blazing around her. It's not the gentle, life-giving light that shines on Galarian. This light blinds, withers, makes a person burn with fever, draining their strength. And who do we have here? The latest wanderer from another world, coming to seek my patronage? Less of your arrogance. You have no idea what powers I command. No matter what powers you possess, I doubt they would impress me more than the two Baylors who started a fight in the middle of the city and whom I had to force into obedience. I doubt you'd be much of a match for... I came seeking your patronage. So what use can you be to me, foolish little mortal? Most powerful demons serve me. What can your pitiful self offer me that they can't? In your mind, Shamir's voice sounds calmer, but it's still arrogant. In truth, there is one thing you can help me with, Galarian, but the others mustn't know about it. Work for me, and I'll grant you my, a share of my attention and patronage. No doubt you've already heard the Nehendrian crystals, objects of astonishing power that grant their owner incredible abilities. Everyone in Illusionera knows they exist, and no one knows what they are or where to get them. No one except that smug cow Hepzamira. I want you to find out what they are. My advice is to start searching in that pile of refuse known as the Lower City. Ask for Zephorian, my predecessor, now a beggar. If that pathetic wretch is still alive, he may know something. Now go. Don't bother returning until you have the information I need. Here, take my mark. So the arch near my palace will let you in. I don't want to waste my time waiting for you to find your way back through the streets of my city with valuable information. <sighs> I see the greed in the eyes of this fiend. She's ready to offer you a deal, and I sense that more than idle interest lies behind it. We both know Nehendrian crystals can make demons immensely powerful. 
We are pursuing Pepsamira to prevent her from creating and unleashing upon us an army of mythical monsters transformed by these crystals. Yet, if you reveal the secret of the crystals to Shamira, we risk simply trading one enemy for another. Our mission demands that we make concessions, but does not mean we must blindly obey every human's request. Weigh each of Shamira's words, remember how cunning she is, and do not let her turn you into a tool she can use to commit atrocities. Armor your heart and do only what you must, not what she and all of her promises and charms will try to convince you to do. And be prepared to find a knife in your back at any moment. That's fine. Everything is clear to me. Wonderful, because this conversation is beginning to bore me. Look into my mind. You might be interested in this place. It's where I saw purple crystals. Be on your guard, champion. If you share knowledge with this dangerous creature, it will not be used for good. By pointing her to the source of great power, you may unwittingly become an accomplice to all the crimes committed with her newfound power. Yeah, yeah. Perhaps you're not that useless after all. I have heard you, and now you're free to leave. That'll be of service. No rest for you yet, Valerian. I still haven't fulfilled my task. Know the answer to the question, where can we get it? You still haven't answered the question, what is it? Alright. Go now and come back when you've found something useful. My time is precious, and I can't waste on every mortal who fancies a chat. Alright. Oh. I beg you, kind lady. Give me a moment of your time. A thin Azamar, good breeding apparent in every line of his aristocratic face, addresses you. Greetings and welcome to this dismal place. My name is Ladbur, and I ask for your help. I beg you, show mercy, not toward me, but toward these young and innocent maidens. They are my wards, and they were unfortunate enough to be abducted by demons. Saren Ray herself had bestowed a revelation upon me, which prompted me to settle here, aid my brethren doomed for dark and cruel fate. My strength is all but gone, I swear it. I need assistance now more than ever. Okay. Just keep holding on, friend. This is a mad place inhabited by mad creatures. But that makes your work all the more important. The disadvantaged and the needy have no one else to turn to. An Azamar who lives freely in the abyss and just as freely performs good deeds. This may be the most suspicious activity I've seen yet seen in these parts. How may be of assistance? Freeing and slave Azmars has become my trade, you see. These women are former captives whom I've saved from the monster's clutches, and I protect them to the best of my ability. But I've heard a new shipment of slaves is about to arrive in the flesh markets, and there is nothing I can do to break their shackles. Please do it in my stead. Please buy their freedom and send the women here. I can see that you're a traveler of means. A single act of kindness should not inconvenience you excessively. Who will forever be indebted to your compassionate soul. Such a kind and generous soul is a true rarity in the abyss. We ought to help him, champion. Not just to save the poor slave woman, but to also strengthen his faith in the righteous of the path he has chosen. Where can I find these captives? As far as I know, the Thrall Hunters were hired by a slave trader named Yunk. A hideous demon utterly lacking in wants. I'm sure you'll find him in the flesh markets, gleefully counting the coins for selling his chateau. Uh, he's kind of eating dirt at the moment. <laughs> um, I rescued the captives and let them go. Let them save themselves. You've done a great kindness by freeing them from bondage. Why, Cernoy's sweet name, did you not send them to me? I didn't know you existed, buddy. Danger lurks around every corner in this monstrous city. They have no friends and no place to rest their heads. I must leave to find them now. There you go. That's Saren Ray's task to you. Oh, whoa. Well. What just happened? The demons examine you. Their gaze is both avaricious and imperious. Their leader, a misshapen demon whose facial features exhibit not a passing acquaintance with symmetry, <sighs> kind of like my dialogue right now, issues a commanding bark. 
Shut up, everyone. Get on the ground. On your stomachs. Turn out your pockets. Perhaps we'll settle us taking your gold and spare your lives. But you, my sweet morsel, will be leaving with us. In pieces. The demon grins malevolently at that Huh? Behind the chatty demon, a huge Vavakia steers sleepily at his feet. A large cloudy crystal sticks out of his chest. Several smaller crystals have broken through his skin at several places like young saplings pressing forth from the Earth's embrace. A slimy fringe of thick red saliva hangs from the monstrous slack jaw. He gives a surprised snort and grunts shyly at you. Who are you? The demon with the lopsided face spits on the floor and replies cockily, We're the best in the Assassin Guild. Mess with us and we'll mess you up. So you're an assassin and you just announced yourself. Okay, the... You're not assassins, you're just common rabble. The demons lose their bravado and exchange nervous glances, taken aback by the steel in your voice. The leader of this band of misfits finally mutters in a shaky voice, Well, maybe not assassins per se, but it sounds more intimidating. We'll sh their pants when they hear it, so... We don't even have to shank them. But you, missus, are no fool. That much I can see. Folks, let's not bother the nice lady. We'll just turn around and be on our merry way, shall we? The demon stone takes on an air of groveling. By the time he's done speaking, he's practically pleading with you. Ah, uh, no. No, 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 don't hurt us. We got the hint. Let's get out of here. I, wait, no, I, don't run. Uh... Okay. Ladverick folds his hands in gesture of prayer, wailing in utter despair. I beg you, please protect me. Unless she is stopped, Red Mask will get me. And worse, to my wards. I do not fear death, but these girls w must not be hurt again. I cannot put an end to Red Mask's depravity, but you can. I appeal to your mercy. Find her and stop her once and for all. Who is this Red Mask? I haven't the slightest idea. No doubt some villain displeased my attempts to save my kin from slavery. Perhaps a dark soul that revels in crime and suffering it brings. I have never met this creature before. I'll deal with her. The Azamar, showed, uh, the Azamar allows himself a weak smile. You have a generous and courageous heart. We'll be praying for your success. Where did we go exactly? Uh, Val Demons are countless to all the power. More of us would be strangled by now. Huh? What's that? What? We're getting hassled by mortals now? This place has gone to the gods. Slitter throat. We don't need a witness. Excuse you. Who are you? And they're all beating up Camellia. Rude. Be gone, fiend! Adhesion. Ew. Natural 20. Oh, in critical hit on a 17 to 20. That's pretty scary. Alright, fair enough. Um, yeah. Why? What just happened? Why was your spell lost? I don't know. Well, anyways. Retreat is not an option. Alright. Oh, weird. 
Where's um? There it is. Game lost a nameless spell. Oh boy. Well, in fact, that's still in this game. Oh, about to venerate a champion. Thanatonic Titan's Minor. All right, we're meeting Lady Valexia. That was easy. The demon that comes to greet you has blonde hair and wearing a modest but elegant dress. She seems surprisingly friendly. Her soft voice and impeccable manner seem out of place in a city where extreme passions and boundless indulgence prevail over temperance and moderation. A new guest has arrived. How exciting! A mortal from Galarian, if my eyes do not deceive me. What brings you to my manor? This is all very intriguing. Alexia, you have clashed in battle many times. Her claws were always stained with the blood of those she killed on the battlefield. Now she looks different, but I'm certain her true nature remains unchanged. She's still violent and dangerous. You must be on your guard, champion. Socia looks embarrassed. He speaks reluctantly, as if he finds the words difficult. I am sure the heart that beats within your chest is wicked and merciless, but my goddess demands that I am sincere when I see true beauty. Though I dread to ask how many lives such beauty has taken. Such a compliment. Sudden, unsophisticated, yet surprisingly delightful. Never thought that words of admiration from a mortal could touch my heart. But it seems that praise from a cleric of Shelin can make even a succubus feel flattered. Do not trust do not put your trust in her words, champion. Alexia's temper is like the wind that blows across Kishiar. It changes constantly and bodes poorly to us. No matter which direction it turns, you must watch her vigilantly as a skilled sailor watches the horizon. You could call me Tanya Genshir. Tanya Genshir. Alexia rolls your name slowly across her tongue as if tasting the way it sounds. What an unusual name. It's certainly not keeping with the spirit of the abyss, but I like it. You know, Tanya Genshir, I have a proposal for you. Let's pick a place that's nice and romantic, and let's go on an innocent little date together. It'll be a chance for us to get to know one another. I'm not going to fall for that, but... How about the Battle Bliss? It offers simple, spirited and entertainment. It'll be a good place for us to talk undisturbed. No one will notice us because they're too busy f watching the fights in the pit. We can have a nice conversation. We can learn more about one another. I'll be waiting for you at the arena. I hope you'll accept my invitation. I'll be very disappointed if you deny me the pleasure of your company. Hmm. I have to go. Please don't stay away too long. Come back soon. That's okay. Um, I'm going to call it a part for here, though, because I'm suffering a lot of mental fatigue of just running around this crazy place. So, all right. This is Johnny R. signing off for the night. Have a good night, everyone.